Hello friends, welcome to the world of chemistry. This is Dr. Vikram Panchal and I am dealing with spectroscopy for chemistry. This is the lecture of IR spectra and lecture number 15. In this lecture, I will explain you factors affecting vibrational frequency. There are already seven factors which I have explained in previous lectures. This is factor number eight and that is angle strain. Okay, so what is angle strain? Let us discuss this. Normally, when we take alicyclic compounds, that means they are saturated cyclic compounds. You will find angle strain is observed. For example, we take compounds like cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, or cyclohexane. These all compounds are saturated and you take any carbon from anywhere, from any side. These carbons have two hydrogen. like this and the hybridization of each carbon is sp3 now in case of hybridization the bond angle should be 109 degree 28 minutes If bond angle is less or different, one zero nine degree twenty eight minutes, then atoms come closer. and produce strain on bond due to steric hindrance. And this is known as angle strain. Due to angle strain, molecule is unstable. So here you can see that in case of triangle cyclopropane this angle is 60 degree or here also you can see it is 90 degree so in this case definitely angle strain will be more but as bond angle is coming close to 109 degree then you will find this is also 72 degree okay so this way you can have less angle strain so as the size of
molecule i mean ring size increases angle strain decreases okay so this is basically angle strain now what is the effect of this on ir scale let us see this one okay we take one example of cyclic ketone we have cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane and cyclohexane okay and here this angle is 90 degree sorry 60 degree in case of cyclopropane here it is 90 degree okay this will be about 72 degree this is 120 degree like that and here you see that because of angle strain this angle is less but on the other side the other angle will be larger for example total angle is 360 degree if one of these angles say theta 1 is less then obviously theta 2 or theta 3 will be large so here in all cases you can see that theta 1 is less than theta 2 that means the bond angle of carbon participating in functional group that is the carbon of C double bond O increases and if bond angle increase it has directly affecting s character so bond angle affects s character of the bond for example you know what is s character i'll explain you again in case of sp3 hybridization there are one s and three p orbitals which mix with each other so in this shape of orbitals the s character is that means contribution of s orbital is 25 percent there are total four orbitals one s and three p orbitals out of four orbitals there is only one s orbital that means contribution of this hybrid orbital has only 25 percent of s character if you take sp2 hybridization then s character will be one third that is about 33 percent or 34 percent and in case of sp hybridization the S character is about 66%, sorry, 50%, because there are only two orbitals, one S and one P orbital. So there are 50% there are contribution of S orbital. So here we can see that as 
S character increases, we can see hybridization changes and we can say that it is having more and more smaller orbitals. So shape of sp orbital is more like s as well as like p. Okay. So here s character increases and as s character increases because bond angle increases. That's why. And here this bond angle is less and this theta 2 will be more. So in this case s character will be more. Okay. So, this will increase if S character increases. Then, shape will be smaller. There will be smaller orbitals. This will increase bond strength. Means overlapping will be much more. So, this will increase. bond strength and if bond strength increases then vibrational frequency also increases So this way, if you go from cyclopropanone to cyclohexanone, the value of theta 2 decreases and value of theta 1 increases. That shows that angular frequency, sorry, vibrational frequency of C double bond O decreases. Okay, so if we see the vibrational frequency of cyclopropanone C double bond O group, then it will be 1820 centimeter inverse. And here, in case of cyclobutanone, angular uh, uh, C double bond O stretching frequency will be 1783 centimeter inverse. Here in cyclopentanone it is 1751 centimeter inverse and in cyclohexanone it is 1715 centimeter inverse. So here you can say that as angle strain increases, frequency increases. But if angle strain decreases, frequency decreases. Okay. So here we can say that angle strain is directly proportional to frequency and it is also directly proportional to electronegativity. Okay. So here we can say that cyclohexanone is having less of C double bond O stretching frequency because the value of theta 1 will, will be larger than theta 2 and that is why angle strain will be less. Okay. So if angle strain decreases, C double bond O stretching frequency decreases. So this is about angle strain. That's it in this lecture. Thank you so much.